Hello friends, here with Lonesome Gamer and I'm playing Cuba Libre. At the end of the last turn I made a mistake and actually I made a few mistakes. One is uh, the syndicate cannot gain cash if they're not in a casino space. Um, but I won't correct that now, it's, uh, it's a little late for that. But I, I ended the last video with this, um, with this card here. And I triggered the event, although the syndicate is second eligible. And that should not be the case. If in a solo play um, I play the government player, then, and the syndicate is second eligible, then the syndicate will not trigger the event, but instead do an operation. So that means these two pieces here are not removed and this US alliance marker does not go down. In addition, eh, just a second. First, let's do the operation. Okay, Syndicate could add Guerilla where Casino has none. Mm, yeah, they could add a Guerilla here, actually. So they're going to rally. Place one Guerilla per space with any Casino and no Syndicate Guerillas. Okay. So they're going to place a, one Guerilla here. That costs them one. Then, where any open casino, cube, and all syndicate guerrillas active, flip guerrillas underground. Well, that is nowhere the case. And then, we come to the profit again, but there is already everywhere, um, every cash is gone, so it is not possible. If no cash available, muscle. Oh, let's see. Move two cubes. Troops if to province, police if to city. Two, an open casino in a 26th control, July control, then the R control space. Well, that is not the case. If no such casino space, bribe. Okay. Okay. I guess this is nowhere the case. So as far as I see it, they would only do that where Direttorio or 26th July is at an open casino all with the syndicate in the same space. But that is nowhere the case. Remove two cubes, remove or flip two guerillas, or remove an enemy base. No, I think they won't do that then. Okay. Well, so they do no special activity then. If none possible, no special ability, activity. Okay. Well, fine. So that was basically their action then. Then, I forgot to read about El Che. Where is that guy? Here. And there was a request I should do that, and I will. Which is its card number. 13. Despite Guevara's failures as a leader of later insurgencies in the Congo and Bolivia, his talent for inspired leadership during the Cuban Revolution cannot be questioned. He was a fearless soldier, 
talented tactician, an outstanding instructor who turned often illiterate recruits into hardened guerrillas. Okay. Um, but this card wasn't activated. So, first group of guerrillas to move on each 26th July march operations flips underground. But that won't happen. Luckily for us. Okay, so that was then basically the correction of the last turn and now we finally come to the next turn and this time these three factions all except the Directorio are eligible and my problem is I only have very little money so let's see what happens we got Maya Lansky coming up Maya Lansky, a Polish Jew, became one of the most remarkable figures in the American Mafia. Because of his ethnicity, he could not rise in the ranks of the syndicate, but his talents as a businessman and expert in the business of casino gambling made him a natural to run the mob's operation in Cuba. Lansky was a major supporter of Batista, and much of the skim from the casinos found its way into Batista's pockets and funded counterinsurgency efforts. Okay, so they will now trigger this one because they are first eligible. So they will trigger the event. Master Mobster. Syndicate relocates any casinos anywhere. All casinos open. Well, I guess there is a special rule about this one. Maya Lansky. To the degree possible, move casinos from spaces with only one casino and no government or syndicate control to random spaces with one casino already and either government or syndicate control. Okay. Well, basically... Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure that... Hmm. Okay, so I guess what they're going to do is they're going to move this casino here to that one. So now there are two casinos here and that is the maximum number of casinos allowed. And I assume this is it then. I don't know what else to do. Okay. So, yeah, that's it then for the syndicate and now I'm the next player here so I can do now an operation okay I can do exactly I can do two operations here um, because I got exactly four bucks and at the moment here an operation cost me two so I'm gonna do sweep well I can do one operation of course but I can do it in two areas so I'm gonna do a sweep operation I guess <sighs> hmm So what am I going to do? I mean, I need some cash. 
that's a fact. So I wonder... Could also do a garrison operation, but I still can do this in the next turn. Trying to attack here, these guys, and this cigar economic center. I think for now... Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a sweep operation here, and one here. And then I'm going to do an airstrike right here to get rid of these guys here in Las Villas. Yeah, okay. It's not that great, but I don't exactly. I think it's okay. I mean, I think it's a good start if I don't let um, let the twenty sixth July establish uh, be, get established here in any way. Um, and same here. It might be a good idea to. Uh, yeah, to try to keep control over this region. Okay, let's see. Um, that was basically then the end of this turn. And we come to the next one. Okay. So that is uh, Directorio. Santo Traficante Junior. That's 48. Traficante, despite being the subject of multiple biographies and the focus of many FBI investigations, remains something of a mystery. Traficante's expertise in gambling, his family made its name in Tampa, running the Bolita, a lottery popular with Cuban exiles, made him an important figure in the Havana Mafia. Traficante became disillusionized with Batista and tried to work with Castro even after the revolution has ended. Although imprisoned by Castro, he continued to hope that he would be allowed to continue his casino operations. He was charged with narcotics trafficking, which is uh, coincidentally the meaning of his name, <laughs> and later deported. Rumors of Traficante's involvement in the assassination of President Kennedy persisted, occasionally encouraged by Traficante himself. He died in 1987. Interesting guy. Okay. So what happens now? Well, the Direttorio uh, feud with Lansky. Syndicate resources minus 10. All syndicate guerrillas to active. Whew, that's a tough one. So it goes down to 18, and then they're all turned to active. Oops, okay, that one was already active. So, yeah, and then it's 26th July. Okay, so 26th July, terror could s kidnap, sabotage, or shift. That is the case. They can sabotage this economic center here. So, it says here on all other unsabotaged economic centers. Yeah, okay. So let's see, first for space where a kidnap is possible. On all other unsubtitles. Okay, so they're going to do it here. Which then places a sabotage marker in here. 
and that costs them one buck. Uh, bup, 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 bup. And then in each city and province, not at opposition. Then if Caracas each at passive opposition. Okay, Caracas is not in the game, so this is it, I guess. That was basically the action. Then we're going to see a kidnap action. But that does also not happen. They can't do a kidnapping because... Well, can they? Maybe they... No, they can't. Because there is no space where the guerrillas exceed the police. So all they could do was this sabotage action. Okay. So... Next one is then Batista Fleece. Oh, and we got a propaganda. <sighs> Government resources minus 10. Holy moly. Select and remove a die roll of troops. US Alliance. One box up. 8 plus 10. Government redeploys as in... Re ah, that's interesting. I, I might actually do that. Because I don't have any money. So I guess there is no consequence if I subtract 10 from my resources. US Alliance, one box up. First, let's read this. Um, okay. Batista's sudden departure on January 1st, 1959, took almost everyone, including many close to the dictator, by surprise. As it transpired, the effect on the Cuban military was devastating, and resistance crumbled almost immediately. Okay. So let's see now. U.S. alliance one box up. Government redeploys as in propaganda round. Okay. So as a matter of fact, that would give us a lot of money. So that's kind of cool. Problem is, we have to move out of Las Villas, and uh, that sucks. Still, I think I, I really wonder if I should take that option because it would give me an 8 plus 10. That's pretty cool actually. Well actually this is not so bad because I can basically move for free uh, most of my troops. So I guess this can be now a pretty helpful card. I mean I got absolutely no money left. Uh, the next propaganda is coming right away. So that, that is a good idea. I think I'm gonna do that. Government resources minus 10 so that has no effect then. Select and remove a die roll of troops. Okay, let's see how many these are. These are two troops. Well, that's something I can live with. Um, I'm just not absolutely sure from where I want to remove these. Uh, possibly here from Las Villas. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. US Alliance one box up. Well, it's already at the top. 8 plus 10. That is awesome. So that's now at 34. Absolutely amazing. And now we can redeploy. Now let's see. The government may move any police to any ECs or government controlled spaces. Okay, so this allows me now 
to place a police here in Las Villas. And well, then I can, hmm, I can move actually two police here, I guess. And that means I control now again the EC, which would have been lost otherwise. In addition, I might place an additional one. Uh, I don't know if it's helpful to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Hmm, maybe it isn't. I think I'm gonna let let this stay here and place only one over here. So, what else can I do then? Let me see. Uh, the government must move any troops on ECs or in provinces without base to government controlled spaces. Okay, so I can move this now or I have to move this now to a government controlled space with a base or into a city fine so I think I'm gonna place one here I might actually place them both here in Kamagui And then I can each other troops to such government control cities or bases. So I could now... Mm, I think that's fine. I don't want to do that right now. But this one has to go away too. Okay. And I guess... Well... Hmm... Damn it. Could leave it in Havana. Havana, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm going to also place that one here. Or in Havana. Maybe better in Havana. I don't know, actually. Fine. Okay, that was an event, and that was a pretty crazy card actually and then we see a syndicate event uh, syndicate operations now let's see will they do an rally action no let's see to empty seal with cash let's see Okay, I'm pretty sure this does not happen too. Available closed casinos greater than cash on the map. Well, definitely. N oh, wait a second. Yes, that is the case. Construct in one space two of resources greater 35. Well, no, they only have 18 resources. Okay. If not or no closed casino in such a space, what? If next propaganda card will be final, open closed casinos where no cash. If not or no closed casinos in such a space, place new closed casinos first for already one casino. So, the only area where, where there is no cash is actually here. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna do it here. Does this guy have to be active or, or um, underground to do that? Construct 
any cities or provinces that either the government or the syndicate controls. No. So they're going to place a closed casino there. And uh, they come into, into play like this. And if they're open, then they look like this. But to, if you construct them, they are closed first. And that costs them five bucks. So that's an extremely expensive operation. Okay, and what else will they do then? Well, they're going to do a profit ac action then, but there is no cash available, so they try to do this muscle action. But this is also not the case. We already had that earlier on. And then this bribe action. But again, this is something that won't happen because they don't share any spaces with 26th July or Directorio. That's at least how I understand this flowchart. Okay. Um, yeah. I guess that is then the end of that turn. And now we will see our second propaganda round. Let's see. Well, okay. So that is always a little complicated. Well, nobody achieved their victory goals, that's for sure. Now let's see the resources. How much do we get? Okay, well there is actually only this sabotaged economic center. So we get three plus three, that gives us six bucks. Ah, plus eight. So that eight is pretty awesome. Um, I thought that I had to control these centers, but that is obviously not the case, I think. Um, the, the syndicate um, guerrillas are not a problem. I mean, they would be, uh, in, in this case, it would not be a problem anyway, because I control this center, but uh, as far as I read that, only the Directorio and or the um, the 26th July forces uh, pose a threat here. So that means I gain 6 for the centers plus 34. So that gives me 40 bucks. That is amazing. Finally, a little more money here. That's really cool. So now it looks much better, and now the insurgent guys, number of its bases, so they gain two bucks, which is not a lot. Directorio, number of spaces, one, two, three, four, well, they, they earn a little more, they're getting better and better. It's interesting to see how they were completely weak at the beginning but now they managed to catch up a little bit and they are in a way doing better than 26th of July. I mean they are completely, they are only here in the Sierra Maestra and over here but the others, I got a feeling they are doing a little better although they don't have that many pieces on the board but hey who knows, maybe I'm wrong here. Uh, the syndicate, population of each city and the econ of each unsabotaged EC, where syndicate guerrillas outnumber police, plus twice the number of open casinos. Okay, let's see. So, cities and economic centers, there is none where they outnumber police. Then, twice the number of open casinos. Okay, that is one, two, 
three open casinos, so they only gain six bucks. Okay, brings them to 19. Then we got this, the skim. For each space with one or two open casinos, the, the, the syndicate transferred two resources to the controlling faction. Okay, well, sadly this one is not open and I don't have, this is controlled by the casino itself, so it's only Havana. So I gain two resources there, which is fine. And then they got these cash deposits, okay. They remove the cash that they own, selecting to receive for each marker either an available base or open casino, or six resources. So I gotta check what the priority here is for the, for the syndicate player. Okay, well all I could find here was that one. Place friendly bases whenever possible, including with cash. Okay. Syndicate a final propaganda round uses cash to open closed casinos where possible. Okay, well, fine. So, I guess they will simply... Wait a second, I'm not sure. I mean, can they open these casinos any way they want or has this is this something that has to happen in the same space where the cash is oh man here we go of that faction at the cash location ah I see okay well that's obvious then it's not possible they can only open a casino here in Havana cash goes back and the casino is open Okay, and here, and here, they cannot open casinos. They can, there's a maximum of two casinos per space, and in the EC, you cannot open a casino anyway. So that means they will gain 18 bucks for that. Which brings them to 35, so that's quite a bit. If they now manage to open this one here and then to build two more they would basically fulfill their winning condition but that's gonna be hard because if they wanna open casinos or construct some they have to pay for that and that's a pretty expensive uh, undertaking okay so then let's go to the support phase I'm afraid now this goes down one space and we will lose an 8 of 10. Mm. Okay, yeah. Okay, and now we can do some civic action. We can do civic action in areas where we have police and and troops okay so I'm gonna do the civic action then here of course in Havana for four bucks Brings me to 38 and now Havana is again a active support so that gives me then six more which is pretty impressive and then I'm gonna do two civic action here in Oriente so I'm gonna pay eight bucks for that and then Oriente is also at active support. And that gives me then four additional points. So now I'm clearly in the lead and I fulfill now my winning condition. But I will count that again. It looks, looks a bit strange. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, so we got a support of 21, which is still pretty cool. Um, to win, I would need to get an active support in Santiago de Cuba, because I need active support in all three cities. But I think I could do that, but I don't want to spend my whole money now for civic actions, um, because first I had to remove that terror marker and then spend a lot of money into this. So this is a little too expensive for me right now, I guess. Um, and it's not enough if I fulfill my conditions during the next propaganda round because in the solo game you have to fulfill them or you have to hold on to these conditions until to the very end. So now this 26th July will do a um, an agitation action. So what does that mean? Well, first they're going to do it here. They're going, to, they're going to pay one buck and then they can flip this to active opposition. So that gives them then two additional Okay, and then they're going to spend one more and they're going to flip this here also to active opposition and that gives them one additional opposition plus basis. Now let's count this if this is all right. Um, so that's two opposition, that's four, so that brings them to six then. And that is seven. And then they got two bases. So they should be actually at nine. Okay. Mm hmm, fine. And just a second. I made a mistake here. These guys are now at three actually. Okay, um, let's see. We got the expat backing. May now free rally in one space with neither active support nor active opposition nor control by any faction other than the DR. It may be uncontrolled. Okay. So, uh, well, there is no uncontrolled space anymore, so oh, the only space where they can actually rally will be Kamagui. And they can place, if I'm not mistaken, the number of population plus the number of bases there. One Guria or replace two. Ah, look at that. So they're going to replace two Guerillas with a base then. Okay. Fine. So that gives them another base, obviously. Well, okay, now I got this redeployment phase. And I, I took one from these cigar. I wonder if I think I will take one of these cigar... Um, Yeah, I think I'll leave that alone. I give that to the syndicate here. And I placed it instead here on these sugar plants here. And then in addition, hmm, well, just a moment here police to any ECs or government controlled spaces. So I guess I'm going to move police in here. And then maybe another one here. So that might allow me then in the next turn to build a base there. And there is still a cube there to, 
to protect that base. Um, So let me see what else can I do. Well, I guess I want to take maybe another cube here from Havana. Yeah, and place it here in Kamagui. Maybe it makes sense to try to move here to Gamagui and try to uh, put a little pressure on the Directorio. In Havana things seem kind of safe. I mean, uh, the syndicate is strong there, but that's not such a big deal, I guess. Okay, fine. So that was then the redeployment, and then sections become eligible again. I'm going to remove the terror markers and the sabotage markers. And I guess this is it then, huh? Flip all guerrillas to underground and all casinos to open. Well, that's important, of course, especially for the syndicate. Oops, sorry for that. So here we are, these two suckers. That's not cool at all. This one here. There's also the threat that he was sabotaged right away, but okay, I mean we can't we can't be everything everywhere at the same uh, at the same time, obviously. Okay. And well this is it for then. Yeah, I think I'm gonna load it up now. Um, still kind of confident. I mean, I don't have the same amount of cash that I had after the last um, propaganda round, but it could have been much worse. I mean, this is now the second propaganda, and we are still we still have a reluctant. Um, the alliance is still reluctant, which is not so bad. I mean, we're not embargoed yet. We have 30 bucks, which is fine. The aid is at 24. So I think it's not looking too bad. All, nearly all my forces are on the board. I have a lot of support. Well, actually, I'm quite happy with the situation right now, but I gotta be honest, it is hard for me to to judge that because I don't have any experience with that. Maybe I'm, I'm completely wrong in a few terms. Everything looks uh, completely different. We'll see. We definitely have to keep an eye uh, on the syndicate because they now have five open casinos. They have a lot of money, so they're not so far from from winning this too. But the other two kind of are, I guess. Okay, so I uh, hope to see you in my next video. Until then, uh, bye.